M0FXB, let's program my Bofunk DM1702 DMR radio. So get yourself a link from K, no, VK4 KWS. I'll put the link in here because his link has got no viruses, which is nice. So download that. And then when you, uh, big shout to him as well, when you've eventually done it, you will run this file here. And it will look like this. And then you'll open a file. You go file, open, and it'll see the D1001. That's the one. There goes my dog in the background. So let's just do one analog channel and one digital channel. So first thing, go to parameter and get your DMR number in here. You need to register for DMR. Two, three, four, one, four, three, seven. And your call sign where it says radio alias. M0FXB. And good to go then. So right, now go to channel. This is where we're going to create channels. We need to create channels and we need to put them into zones. We're going to show you how to do that. And we need to create contacts for talk groups. So let's just add two, co two contacts. So see here, we'll click add. And we're going to call one TG9. And the gr always group call. And we're gonna, the number nine has to go here. And then click add. <coughs> Add like so, and we're going to do the next one. We're going to do is click above TG91. Okay, so uh, and then TG9 group call nine TG91, which is worldwide. We could call it worldwide if we wanted to, and then here go TG91. Sorry, just you just put in the 91, and the actual number where it says call ID is the most important thing. Because that, that is basically like almost like a phone number for DMR. So we've got, you'll see in a minute why we need these numbers. So let's start creating our channels. So click to the one that says channel, and we'll click add, and we'll go to the one above, and we'll do, we'll do GB3WR. So 145.600. That's the output. Then on the input, you want 145.30 zeros should be enough. We can name it GB3WR. So this is just an analog FM channel. I like the power high. And then it's analog. And then if we want to just click across to look at the full window of the channel, click those two arrows there. And you can see here if there's anything else you need to change. Yeah, we need to add the CTSS. So is it 94.8? And that's that channel created. Now we will need to put it into a zone. So we now click zone. So here on the left, double click zone. And then, the, the ch oh, it's already put the first one in there because it's the first channel. So it's already put the first one in automatically. So let's, but normally you would select the channel and then you would click it across and it would go in. Should we just do channel two so you can see? So channel two, look, we'll click it here. We'll go GB, three, B, C, and we'll do the frequency one, four, five, dot, 750, and then imper, which is the TX, which is 145.150. Uh, we'll do it high power, and I'll click that to get the tone in there. Tone 94.8. It's like that's how good it is. So it's not, yeah, not too bad. But anyway, so. And then we'll go back to zone by clicking zone here on the left. And we'll look, we can click, highlight that channel and send it into our group. Now, if you want to do the B band, you just highlight there and then it will send it across. Now, the A and B band don't have to be the same but because you can create hundreds of channels and then put in the ones you want in A and B band. That's how it works. So, and we can even name the zone and we're going to call that zone FM repeaters. No, analog repeaters because we're not going to put digital in this. Analog repeaters. There you go. And uh, and it will save. We'll save as we go. Yes, we'll save it to that same file, so we can put this back in. And now let's do a digital channel. Which, so with digital, you do need contact. So we're going to go down on the left here. It says contact. Contact is basically the phone number of a talk group. It's the number of a talk group. Without it, you can't use DMR. So I've already created a couple. So I just, uh, we've done TG9 and TG91. We'll add one more. We'll, we'll add. Say, uh, one's called um, Chat, Chat 2 on Brandmeister, we'll call, and it's 2350, it's group call, and 2350350. Let's put disconnect on there as well, so we'll click add, and let's call one uh, here, 4000 for disconnect, 
group call and we've got to put a number here, 4,000. Numbers are the most important thing. Call three, we haven't done. So look, we've got 91, 4,000. And we've got, oh, this should be called 2350. 2350, okay. Like so, oh, I know what I'm doing. I'm not clicking add. Let's do that again. Chat to 2350 and click add. Right, so you, uh, we've got the uh, contacts in. So look, 2350, group call 2350, and you can see it. You can name these with actual physical names rather than numbers if you want. It's just so you can recognize them in your radio. So do that. And then so now we need to go to back to channel, and we're going to create a digital channel. So click add. And then we're going to call the first one uh, talk group nine bit long if it's for that so we'll go call it tg9 for now and we could put in local i've noticed a lot of people call nine local put the frequency in of your hotspot mine is 431.550 you can do repeaters as well we'll do a hotspot first 431.550 okay and then we're ignoring the receive group list we're going to use um Hi for now, we're going to select digital this time, and then we're going to click the right hand arrow. And we need to select the contact, so look on the right here and go to contact name. Now, we need to, if we've called it TG9, we need to select number nine. Look, TG9, digital, everything else looks fine. So that's one digital channel. Let's do another one. So, channels, we'll click add, and this time we're going to call it. Uh, worldwide, which is TG91. And with same frequency on the hotspot, you only have one frequency if you've got one hotspot. <coughs> Obviously, you can have different frequency if you've got multiple hotspots. 431.550. Go high. Digital. Click that. Select a different talk group which is, where is it, TG91, that's the one. And, oh yeah, we need to remember our slots. We'll go slot, color code one, we'll do slot two, and that's on both channels. Go back to that other channel, click the right hand arrow, go slot two, color code one. Now repeaters tend to have different color codes, so but look for that on, your, on the repeater website. So that's two, Digital channels created. Now we're going to go back to zone up here on the left. Click zone. And we're going to add a zone and we're going to call it digital. Put all our digital hotspots in there. We could even call it hotspots, couldn't we? Digital and then we could put hot. There you are. And then we could do another zone. We could call it digital repeaters. Repeaters. There you go. So let's select the one we want, and then now in digital, we're going to just put digital channel. So TG local, that's digital. Select it and worldwide. Select it, yeah. And here we'll do it on the B band as well. Click right. So we've now got two in digital. So we know we don't want GB3WR, so we can click that and send it out of that channel. And out of that channel because at DB3WR and BC want it in our analog repeaters, digital hotspots. And then, so you get the idea, and then what we could do is create another channel for our local repeater and all the input and output frequencies and uh, talk groups and all that kind of stuff, slot, slot and color code will be on the repeater website. But you get the idea. So you're starting to build um, something you can use on your radio now. So we've got, our, we've got three zones, four channels, all you do now is to click right to radio, and you should be good to go. Now, I haven't got the radio here, so we're going to leave it at that. So that's uh, we'll call it part one of uh, programming the 1702. 73, all the best. <laughs>